Most folks have never heard of Center, Texas, but this sleepy little town is home to one of the fastest growing empires in America. It's an empire of over 50 successful businesses my Uncle Terry built just before his untimely death. The Baileys were killed Wednesday when the helicopter Mr. Bailey was piloting went down over. And it's now in the hands of his young and growing family. Y'all ready? Y'all give me a big. <laughs> There's my cousin, Dustin Bailey. He's responsible for running the business empire his daddy built. And that ain't easy. Especially while having to raise two young kids along with his wife, Jenny. Some nights he'll be on the phone till 10 o'clock at night. I'll threaten to throw his phone in the pond. Don't touch it. I think we're at our wits end with this house. It's like nasty. I'm expecting maybe like an upgrade. I never imagined I would live somewhere like that. One day he came back and there was a helicopter barn attached to the house. I know you were a little bit embarrassed about having a helicopter hanger attached to the house. Word. <laughs> Look, golf simulator. We didn't come from money growing up. I grew up on a chicken farm. Now I'm going to be like, what am I going to make these kids do? Because they can't go pick up dead chickens at 6 a.m. They're kind of spoiled. A little bit. And then there's Dustin's sister, Dr. Carmen Mackey. No, no, no kiss. That is so corny. She never wanted to rely solely on the family's fortune and became Center's favorite eye doctor. This strong, independent woman married her high school sweetheart, Ryan Mackey, a no fooling male model turned cowboy. Well, kind of. Did the shows in Milan, did the shows in Miami. The attraction was definitely there and our personalities really fit together. I married a model. Then of course you got the bushes. That's my mama Katha. Raising boys is not easy. We just need something to blow up. They wear me out when I'm around them. The whole house shook. Where are my boys? My high-spirited and very loud brother Cole. Hey, it's time to do homework. Mom's gonna be home probably 45 minutes. His wife, Colin, who's working full-time while Colt runs the family. I got kids in basketball, baseball, cheerleading, horse riding. He's a real Mr. Mom. We got play days every Saturday. Colt's the girl in the marriage. She's very, very sensitive. Just one thing after another with kids and a wife. Colt. What? I want you to do the homework. I'm cooking now. Then, of course, you have me, Charlie, your orator on this family's journey. I don't even know what Dad does for a living. Dad <laughs> talks for a living. When I see the tail lights, that's when he's leaving. When I see those headlights, he's back. I can't do the office. First of all, I don't like the way paper touches my hand. Now, I do a little of this. <laughs> oh, so gross. That was disgusting. Like, that just creeped me out. And a little bit of that. Dad is bringing on the back of the night. And I've got a great family of my own. I'm definitely my dad's favorite. My gorgeous wife, Amanda. You know, I don't have well, two kids, I have three, and he's my third. My talented son, Dayton. God, I've never seen such a drama queen in my life. <laughs> my stunning daughter, Kennedy. I know, I should be worried. Who the hell's Jake? I need to get acquainted. She's though. not even gonna be sitting with him. He's playing football. He's playing football. I hope he gets hit in the head. Dad! You know, prayer is the fastest way to meet your maker, but messing with my daughter is faster. You see, a tragedy can tear a family apart. Our family. Girls, woo! We're closer than ever. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. So we're gonna laugh together. <laughs> you big ass kids. We're gonna grow together. Look how the tree is. We're gonna bust on each other. Hey, look here. Skinny jeans is on her. <laughs> Charlie, I don't know if he'd look good in skinny jeans. No, Charlie. He's a little on the chubby side. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we're just a bunch of kids from a small East Texas town. We're young, a bit reckless, and we got big plans. That's what we do down here in Texas. He never said go! Don't be a sore loser! We dream big, and we do bigger. Oh!